Greetings, everyone. I bring you a very important breaking news. We have new intelligence relating to the role of the J-35 fifth-generation fighter within China's future carrier forces, and also relating to the combat potential and the longevity of the PLA Navy's active carriers, the Liaoning and the Shandong. The Liaoning and the Shandong, or the CV-16 and the CV-17, respectively, are stowbar design, which stands for short takeoff, barrier arrested recovery. They are not equipped with catapults to launch fixed-wing aircraft. Rather, the fixed-wing fighters take off from the ski jump installed at the bow, mostly under their own power. The maximum takeoff weight and the maximum payload depends on a range of factors, such as the ship's speed, wind conditions, and the launch position on the ship. Up until this point, the available evidence points towards the J-35 being deployed on China's catapult-equipped carrier, the Fujian, and not necessarily on the two active stowbar carriers. The assumption so far has been that the J-35 requires an aircraft catapult to take off from a carrier's flight deck. These assumptions were thrown out of the window with the revelation of a couple of key photos over the last couple of days. These photos contain major revelations about the role of the J-35 on the Liaoning and the Shandong. In this photograph, we have the aircraft carrier. The Liaoning. I believe this is the Liaoning, not the Shandong, even though the penance number is not captured. The photos taken at the Dalian shipyard, where the Liaoning has been undergoing the final stage of a prolonged maintenance, she is expected to return to active service within a year's time with enhanced combat capabilities. Her flight deck has already been repainted. And a new radar system has been installed. More importantly, zooming in, we see what is clearly a J-35 carrier fighter sitting at the rear of the flight deck, or at the very least, a model. The appearance of the plane is entirely consistent with a J-35 instead of a J-15 that is typically deployed on the stowbar carriers of the PLA Navy. Features on the airframe, including the vertical stabilizers, the canopy, and the shape of the fuselage, all point to a J-35. It is worth noting that the deployment of models or mock-ups of specific aircraft on board a warship has generally been the first major sign that a particular aircraft will serve on board that warship in the future. And because there's basically no major difference between the Liaoning and the Shandong, deploying the J-35 model on the Liaoning essentially has the same benefits in terms of testing as deploying the plane on the Shandong. The appearance of the J-35 on board the Liaoning points strongly towards the fighter serving on the two stowbar carriers in the future. In addition. There's a second piece of supporting news. This news should be treated as only a rumor, rather than concrete evidence at this stage. But it all points to the same direction of the J-35 serving on the stowbar carriers sometime in the future. A reasonably credible commenter on the Chinese internet has recently made the claim that the J-35 has underwent takeoff and landing. On the Shandong, this internet user regularly posts images shedding light on Chinese aircraft carrier development, including recently photos of the J-15B, the catapult version of the J-15. That being said, his claim is only a claim so far. There's no supporting photos or videos backing up his assertion that a J-35 has taken off. And landed on the Shandong. Therefore, her statement has to be taken with a large grain of salt. On a related note, we should keep watch to see if a KJ-600 model appears on the Liaoning 
or the Shandong as well. If modifications to the Liaoning are required to handle the J35, there now would be a good time to also add any additional modifications required to operate the KJ600. If the plan is indeed for the KJ600 to go full Stobar as well. Of course, I still see it as unlikely for the KJ600 to take off from a ski jump. The KJ600 being a fairly large airborne early warning radar system that is powered by turboprop, is unlikely to generate enough thrust to take off from a ski jump. That being said, with the likelihood of the J-35 going on the Liaoning and the Shandong increasing, it is only natural to begin to contemplate the possibility of the KJ-600 doing so as well. The Shenyan J-35 is China's upcoming fifth-generation fighter to be deployed in its aircraft carriers. It will form the core of Chinese naval aviation for decades to come. Obviously, this is a critical piece of China's naval modernization. The J-35 was chosen around 2018 to be the PLAN's preferred carrier fighter, owing to the experience of the Shenyan Aircraft Corporation in developing the fourth-generation J-15 Flying Shark, and also because the elder contender a navalized J-20 would have been too large to be suitable for carrier operations. The J-35 made its proper first flight in October 2021, and various iterations have been seen since then, each with an incremental improvement in terms of design and suitability for carrier operations. It will use China's most capable air-to-air -air weapons from its internal weapon bay, including the PL-15 Beyond Visual Range Missile and the PL-10 Short Range Missile. The J-35 is waiting for its ultimate power plant to be developed, which is the WS-19 turbofan engine. The WS-19 will enable a range of new capabilities to fully unlock fifth-generation status, such as supercruise and thrust vector control. We see with the photographs analyzed today that it is becoming more likely that the J-35 will be deployed on China's two active carriers, the Liaoning and the Shandong in addition to the Type 003 carrier, the Fujian. The J-35 is a far more capable fighter compared to the J-15, particularly in terms of air-to-air -air warfare, where stealth capability will be a decisive factor. The usage of the J-35 should therefore massively bolster the combat capability and the longevity of the Liaoning and the Shandong, keeping these two modified Admiral Kuznetsov-class carriers in service in the PLAN for far longer than otherwise. If you like to see the inside of the 70,000-ton carrier of the PLA Navy, the Shandong, please watch this video right here.